This is just another voice in the choir warning about a lack of liquidity at year end. So this comes courtesy of Savita Sabramian from Bank of America. And she says that that illiquidity could fuel any sell-off we have at the end of the year. Now, there are a couple of factors in this. Interestingly, she points to WeWork, saying that the write-downs that pension funds will have to take may force them to sell some of their more liquid assets into markets, of course, one of those being equities. Add to that, you have vulnerable and extreme positions, mutual funds, hedge funds, all owning very similar concentrated stocks, those top stocks in the S&P making up about 25% of the index. Now, finally, and this is something we heard from the BIS earlier this week as well, and that's that banks have retreated as their role of market maker. Now, Bank of America says that this is likely due to heightened regulation that's caused them to pull back. Now, this chart, this data comes courtesy of S&P Global. You can see that their liquidity has been halved since 2011. So this is a drastic reduction that sort of hampers their ability to provide that day-to-day -day trading, especially when it comes to the repo market. Now, what's taken their place? Bank of America says that it's ETFs and high-frequency trading. There's a lot of academic research out there saying that high-frequency trading, whenever there's stress in the market, that they'll pull back from those moments that liquidity is needed most. So in this sort of environment, uh, Bank of America says that trading has become an extreme sport.